It's gourmet hot dog time. kitchen. I hope you're enjoying the videos you've watched so far, but if this is your first time, how you doing? Hit that subscribe button and leave me some comments if you'd like. Today I would like to share with you my love for a gourmet hot dog. Listen, I'm all for barbecue season and having a hot dog with some mustard on it, maybe some onion, some ketchup, but we can take this to another level. I have a couple of my favorite, well, not couple, four to be exact, of my favorite ways to impress, to do something different with your hot dog dinners, lunches, picnics, barbecues, whatever you're doing. So first thing you need is a good quality wiener. I personally like to buy my wieners jumbo, uh-huh. Because I like to have a good ratio of wiener to bun. I like more meat than bun. But you do you, whatever wiener you want to pick, go for it. Uh, the other thing is how you cook it. If you have a barbecue, if you have a grill, go for it. Warm them up on there. If you don't, you can even do that on a frying pan in your home. Now that we have the hot dog and bun ready to go, let's do toppings. The first gourmet hot dog that I want to tell you about is one of my favorites. Of course, I'm going to start with one of my favorites. Making homemade pico de gallo. I have made it and I have the recipe, so I will link it in this video as well. Check it out if you don't know how to make pico de gallo. And homemade guacamole. Again, a recipe I have done on the show before. Put your guacamole and your pico de gallo perfectly evenly onto your hot dog and bun and that is gourmet hot dog number one so much flavor with two super simple side dishes on a hot dog the next hot dog that i want to tell you about is full of beautiful flavors making my own asian style coleslaw by simply combining napa cabbage some red cabbage olive oil, salt and pepper, and vinegar. Add some blue cheese dressing, as well as a nice helping of sriracha all over your hot dog. And you have your second gourmet Asian slaw blue cheese dog. If those two weren't enough, we are going full throttle with our third hot dog, the jalapeno cheese hot dog. Who doesn't love a whole goop of melted cheese on your hot dog, or on anything for that matter? Drizzle as much or as little melted nacho cheese sauce all over your hot dog. Pickled red onion. And to top it all off, evenly place as much or as little fresh jalapenos on top. Gourmet hot dog number three, full of jalapeno cheese and flavor. For our final hot dog, not in any particular order of favoritism, we are going with melt some peanut butter in your microwave. Drizzle that all over your hot dog. Again, as much or as little. Some perfect big pieces of bacon are gonna top off your hot dog and peanut butter concoction. And to top off all of that deliciousness, I am going to add extra flavor. Sweet meat spicy with this beautiful Tabasco sauce that will now bring it all together. Peanut butter bacon heat. Putting these hot dogs together can be so much fun and it totally changes up your hot dog game at home. You do need to make a couple of things ahead of time like the guacamole, the pico de gallo, the coleslaw, things like that, but you can make those ahead of time, pop them in the fridge, and when hot dogs are ready, all the sides come out. You can let people build them the way they want them or take on these four suggestions that I have for four hot dogs that 
will just change the game. Thank you for watching a super quick and fun hot dog recipe video on the Silly Kitchen. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to support the channel and see more awesome recipes to come. I'm going to go eat.